Hello, praise God. This is Pastor Doug with the online Christian ministry, crossandblood.com. Hallelujah. We have a quick little video for you here, about five minutes probably by the time we're done with it, out of the book of Exodus, and the title today is Go Forward Church in the Name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We also have a weekly outreach so you can catch us over on um, Blog Talk Radio. It's Sundays at 3 o'clock. Hallelujah. We have a full church service pretty much. Pray for folks. Have a message. A little bit of worship. Whole nine yards. Go to our ministry website crossandblood.com. Hallelujah. You can chase all the links to find out all the outreaches and tools that we have to equip the body of Christ. Having said that, hallelujah, the message today for five minutes on this mini video is out of the book of Exodus, chapter 14, hallelujah, and it's entitled, Go Forward in the Name of Jesus. The reason this video is coming about is because from what I'm going to call years of various ministry experience, a lot of people on a regular basis, and you will find yourself in this situation, hallelujah, often in life, praise God will come to me and they will say, what is the next step that I do, Pastor? What is the next thing that I do, Pastor? I don't know how to get from where I'm at to where I'm going. I'm stuck in between promises, Pastor, friend, brother. What do I do? The enemy is behind me. Praise God. I don't want to go back to Egypt. If I, I've tried going back to Egypt, I cannot go backwards. Help. I'm stuck where I'm at. I don't know what to do. On my right side, there's this huge mountain. I can't get over it. I can't get around it. I can't do anything with it. On my left side is a left mountain on the left, and I can't get over that. Man, I go back, and I keep on dying. And in front of me is this red sea and I don't know how to get across it. Can you help me, Pastor? What do I do? The book of Exodus, the word of God, has the answer for us, church, and for you listening to me now, dear believer in the Lord Jesus Christ. In the book of Exodus, praise God, really quickly here, hallelujah, hallelujah, uh, in verse 9, praise God. But the Egyptians pursued after them, and all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, and his horsemen, hallelujah, and his army, and overtook them in camping by the sea, besides Pharaoh and Balsephon. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were very afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. This is where a lot of people in the church community find themselves unfortunately on a more regular basis than it should be praise god they're scared they're timid they're fearful they don't know what to do and they're crying out to the lord and they say this they said unto moses because there weren't any graves in egypt have you taken us away to die in the wilderness i'm dying out here in the wilderness pastor help me what do i do why have you dealt with us to carry us forth out of Egypt? Lord, why are you making the way so hard in the name of Jesus? Isn't this what I told you? Praise God. Hallelujah that those Christians are a crazy bunch. Verse 12. Let us, didn't we tell you way back in Egypt? Let us alone that we may serve the Egyptians. It's been better for us to serve the Egyptians than we die out here in the wilderness. Because, Pastor, I'm giving it everything I got and it hadn't been working. Hallelujah. My wife is on my case. My boss is on my case. The finances are on my case. Sickness is on my case. I'm out here dying in the wilderness. Pastor, what do I do? The Word of God says, praise God. Verse 13. Moses said to the people under the inspiration of the Lord, don't be scared. Stop talking all that doubt and all that unbelief. Stop letting that come out of your mouth. The power of life and death is in the tongue. If you're smart, you're going to eat the wise fruit in the name of Jesus. That's why you incubate the word of God down on the inside of you. So when trouble comes, the word of God is what comes out in the name of Jesus. Verse 13, don't be scared, says Moses, stand still, stop running around, stop asking for all this help, listen to what the Lord has to say, praise God, hallelujah, don't be asking every single person that stands in front of you, ask the Lord what he has to tell you how to get from A to B into the next step in your life, praise God, get off of the TV, get off of the radio, get off of Facebook for five minutes, take a walk around the block, hallelujah, get down on your knees by the side of your bed, get some stillness about you so you can hear the Lord talking to you blessing you ministering to you and giving you the word of the Lord on how to get out of where you're at and get where he's trying to get you and you're going to get it by not being scared and by standing still inside long enough to hear God talking to you in the name of Jesus verse 13 now see the salvation of the Lord which he will show you today for the Egyptians whom you have seen you ain't going to see him no more church in the name of Jesus 
us. Verse 14, the Lord is fighting for you. The Lord shall fight for you, praise God, and you will hold your peace. This is how, verse 15, praise God. This is the pattern that the Lord rides on to fight for you when you obey his word. Are you listening, church? Verse 15, the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me, speaking to the children of Israel? The direction of your deliverance, church, is not behind you. The direction of our deliverance, church, is not in yesterday's move of the Holy Spirit. The direction of where God's taking the earth today, now, you and me in the body of Christ, is not up the mountain on the left and not up the mountain on the right. He is causing us to go forward in the name of Jesus. That's where our victory is. That's where our power is. That's where our anointing is. That's where our deliverance is. And that's what the command of the Lord to the church today now is in two words. Go forward in the name of Jesus. Verse 16. Lift up your rod, Moses. Stretch your hand out over the sea. Divide it and the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. No matter what's behind you. No matter what's beside you. No matter what the devil has thrown up, the world or your flesh. The direction out of your problem is forward number one. Number two, God says to Moses, what's in your hand? What's in your hands, Moses? What's in the words of your mouth, Moses? What authority and realm of authority do you currently walk in, Moses? What or Christian listening to me now or pastor listening to me now? What is the authority that you have gained so far? Because your way out of your problem, believer listening to me now, person sitting in the pew, so to speak, not knowing the next direction to take. You don't have to jump out in the middle of the Red Sea all at once. You don't have to divide that Red Sea all in one split-second Hollywood moment not in the name of Jesus. What God commands you to do is to look at what's in your hand. Don't be fearful. Hallelujah. Stand still. Hear what he's telling you. And your father's telling you, take that authority that he's put in your hand, even if it's just a little, and take it and point it the direction you want to go with not only the words of your mouth, but the actions and your feet behind it. And don't just do it in a casual manner. Don't just do it with a little dabble, do you? But the Bible says, praise God, in verse 16, what he has put in your hand says, God to Moses, if you're going to get across that Red Sea, you're going to have to stretch it. It's going to take some effort. It's going to take some pointing. It's going to take some consistency, and it's going to take some diligence. And that's where if you need to link up with some people in the body of Christ to hold up your hands, you need to do it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're going to have to stretch what's inside of you and you're going to have to continue to stretch it. You're going to have to speak it. You're going to have to walk in it. And it's one step a time at a time forward across the Red Sea that is currently in front of you. Praise God. We'll jump ahead a little bit now. Hallelujah. From verse 16. Oh, hallelujah. Where are we going? Hallelujah. Verse 21. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. He obeyed. Hallelujah. Listen to his prophets and you will prosper. The Bible says Moses was a prophet of the Lord. The children of Israel prospered when they obeyed the words of Moses. Hallelujah. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land and the waters were divided. Praise God. Hallelujah. Verse 22. Children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground, and the waters were a wall unto them on their right hand and on their left. The Egyptians pursued, went and after them in the middle of the sea, even all of Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. And what the devil meant to kill you, God's going to put on public display as you go forward in the name of Jesus with the authority that he's put in your hands and in your mouth, one step at a time, your victory church, your deliverance church, our answers church are across the Red Sea using the authority in the name and power of Jesus to do what is not natural, not possible in the natural, but possible with God's help in the supernatural. We need to stretch our rod over the sea, church of the Lord, Jesus Christ, forward one step at a time. Douglas Rookie, crossandblood.com. Look us up online. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord willing, we'll have a lot more ministry videos coming to you. God bless. Go forward, church, Jesus' name.